The White House fulfills its pre-virus plan of rolling back Obama-era regulations on methane gas emissions for oil and gas producers. This follows President Trump's executive order on promoting energy independence and economic growth. I caught up with economist and associate director of SMU's McGuire Energy Institute, Dr. Bud Weinstein. Take a look. The Environmental Protection Agency finalized these rules last week, but some opponents are fiercely objecting these reforms. How are these changes beneficial, especially in the midst of a pandemic? Well, the environmental community is going berserk. They're, they're claiming that these new rules are going to destroy the planet that were rolling back very significant uh, regulations that had a serious impact on reducing greenhouse gas emissions. But the reality is the rule changes that were enacted last week are designed primarily to avoid and reduce overlapping expensive regulations on oil and gas production. So it's not really a rollback, it's more of a rationalization. Uh, the, the emission of methane is still regulated both by the federal government and by state governments. And, and, and what's more, these new rules are not going to halt the trend that's been underway for years, which is a reduction in methane emissions from the oil and gas industry. The first rule is referred to as the policy package, which determines the Obama era's EPA's addition of transmission and storage segment was improper and removes it from the regulation while also rescinding emission standards for that segment. So does this policy package, what does this pol policy package mean going forward? I'm not a lawyer, so I can't really comment on the legal ramifications of these changes, although a number of environmental groups have already threatened to challenge the so-called rollbacks in court. But I think what is omitted from the discussion is the fact that as I mentioned earlier, we still have very, very tight regulations on methane, some at the federal level, some at the state level. And this applies at the production sites for oil and gas. It also applies to transmission, the pipelines, the compressor stations through which natural gas and oil are pumped and processed and delivered to refineries or to end users. Those regulations are still in place. What's more, the industry has launched a number of initiatives on its own to reduce methane emissions. And, and we, we see the results. Methane, fugitive methane is down almost 25% from where it was 10 years ago. There's a sentiment among experts such as yourself that the methane regulation reform will allow more businesses the opportunity to survive and grow, which is touted in the second rule referred to as the technical package. Can you explain this concept in more detail? Well, they call it a technical package, but I, I really think what it means is lifting some of the more onerous burdens on small and medium-sized producers and processors. It's much easier for large companies to absorb the cost of regulation than it is for small and medium-sized companies. So this will provide a modicum of relief to the small operators, particularly in places like the Permian Basin, where they're really at least right now, the major players, or at least they were before the pandemic hit. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.